Okay, so Mark just announced Meta Horizons OS, and this is a major deal for interoperability. Let's watch it, and I'll tell you my thoughts. Hey, is this on? All right, some updates on the metaverse today. Uh, we are releasing Meta Horizon OS, our operating system that powers Quest virtual and mixed reality headsets, and we are partnering with some of the best hardware companies out there to design new headsets that are optimized for all the different ways that people use this tech. Now, in every era of computing, uh, there are always open and closed models. And with phones, Apple's closed model basically won out. Phones are tightly controlled, and you're kind of locked into what they'll let you do. But it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, in the PC era, the open model won out. You can do a lot more things, install mods, you've got more diversity of hardware, software, and more. Uh, so our goal is to make it so that the open model defines the next generation of computing, again, with the metaverse, glasses, and headsets. So that's why we're releasing our operating systems so that more companies can build different things on it. We've been building Meta Horizon OS for about a decade. Uh, we started building it off Android, and while it's still compatible, we've now built it into a much broader and more capable mixed reality and spatial computing OS. The key ideas behind Meta Horizon OS are a feeling of presence with people no matter where you physically are, bringing digital objects like huge screens into your physical space, uh, navigating and interacting with virtual spaces, and supporting developers and creators and you know, building all these new apps and experiences. You can do all this on Quest today, but now we're also working with Lenovo, Asus ROG, Xbox, and more to build headsets that are gonna be designed for specific use cases. So you can imagine a lightweight headset that pairs with your computer on your desk uh, to provide the best work experience, whether you're at home or anywhere else you go. Um, or you can imagine one that's fully focused on watching immersive entertainment like movies and videos with the highest resolution OLED screens. Uh, or you know, think of one that's fully optimized for gaming with support for all kinds of different peripherals and haptics. Um, you can imagine one that's designed for exercise that's extra light with sweat wicking materials. Um, you know, or, or maybe just a version that comes out of the box with Xbox controllers and a Game Pass so that you can immediately just start playing on a big screen anywhere you go. Um, we're also, as part of this, going to be opening up our store uh, to give you even more options to use whatever experiences you want. So whether they're on Steam, Xbox, Cloud Gaming, our own App Lab, um, or even Google Play, if they're up for it, our philosophy is that we want you to be able to run the content on Quest or any Meta Horizon operating system headset. Uh, all right, so opening our OS, that's the next step in bringing all these different use cases of the metaverse to everyone. Um, it's probably going to take a couple of years for some of these new products to start launching, but I'm really excited to get started on this next chapter and to get this into your hands as soon as possible. Okay, so basically in this video, Mark said our goal is to make it so the open model defines the next generation of computing. Now, basically Meta is trying to do is be the Android of XR. Now, I am full support of this. I think interoperability is absolutely brilliant. And I think that Meta has really tried this by putting support behind Project Kronos. But, you know, I still want to know exactly how Meta is going to try to monetize their operating system. But regardless, this is really, really exciting news. Because currently, if I want to build any kind of design for Meta, I have to use Unity. And that extra barrier between Unity and the operating system has become an absolute nightmare to use. And currently I am building on Vision OS. If you're interested, let me know with a comment down below. But Vision OS has given me and Bezzy an immense amount of tools that has made this future product really, really powerful in ways that it's really hard to replicate on the MetaQuest. And that's because MetaQuest's operating system is so narrow. And so this upgrade in this consistency across multiple pieces of hardware makes basically Horizon OS incredibly powerful. So we're going to have a lot more consistent experiences. We're going to be able to utilize their APIs and SDKs in a way that allows anyone to create really efficiently. So I'm super excited. Now, I personally believe that this move by Meta is important and they've been working on it for a very, very long time. As they said, years, they said a decade. I'm not sure how they constitute that, but I have a feeling it's gonna take one to three years for it to actually be mature enough to use properly. And I think that Mark at the end of the video kind of talked about this a little bit. However, like this is a really good start. And I personally believe the year 2027 is gonna be the year for XR. I think it's gonna be three years of a slog to get there of peaks and valleys, but them doing this now is a really, really good sign. And I'm excited to work with them. Anyway, so 
Those are my initial thoughts. I just wanted to create this initial reaction video because I think this is incredibly important for the industry. But what do you think? Do you think this move by Meta is a big deal? Like, what do you expect the impact this will have on our industry short term or long term? I'm really interested to know. But if you like this kind of video, let me know with a comment down below. And I have to run to my daily stand up. So I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Plus minus. Peace.